So how does one navigate a tall ship to an uncharted volcanic island in the South Pacific? Very carefully. So Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai is a new volcano that formed only a couple years ago in the South Pacific in the Kingdom of Tonga. It formed between two existing islands and it just kind of rose up out of the sea. And so my mission was to go anchor the vessel in this place and to do it safely. And most importantly, make sure that we remained a boat and not a building in the sense that we didn't want to run ourselves aground. And for this mission, we're navigating with pretty modern instruments. This is not a, uh, a traditional navigation video or anything, or no celestial navigation involved. So I guess the first thing I would say is when I say uncharted, I'm referring to the nautical charts of the area. And so if you look at the nautical chart of Tonga here, just to the northwest of Tonga Tapu, where Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai uh, volcano is. And if you look at the nautical chart, you can see there's no connection between these two islands. And it's a super small scale chart which shows a large area so ideally you would have a better chart going in here but since nobody goes there there's no charts for it you can also look on the electronic chart plotter and see that there it matches up to the raster chart um, that we have on the on the chart table here however the island is somewhat charted in the sense that uh, NASA has taken satellite images of it and uh, so we were able to partner with NASA on this mission and uh, obtain some information from them which is very helpful in our navigation purposes so the first piece of information was kind of this really cool oceanographic image showing the entirety of the volcano area. And so the area where Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai is, is just a small portion of this giant caldera above water. So we've also got this other image showing the area and given the trade winds are from the southeast in this vicinity, the best anchorage is definitely going to be on the north side of the volcano area. And so that's what our kind of initial operating procedure would be is to head in there. So we've got some data as well from the research vessel Falcor, which is a private vessel, and they were able to survey up to about 25 meters of depth, but they're so large that they couldn't get any closer. So there's really no good information of where you would anchor the vessel. And so for me, what I did is I kind of looked around at uh, the topography and my estimation of what the bottom would be. And I see this kind of land bridge between Hunga Tonga and the new landmass. And I would expect that that would kind of continue uh, off into the ocean be like a gravelly sandy bottom gently sloping um, but you never know right there could be some volcanic boulders or something down there so th what we did is we kind of circumnavigated the caldera keeping ourselves at about 100 meters depth using our depth sounder then we just poked our nose in slowly uh, until I saw a depth that I felt like we could anchor at and so I decided to drop the anchor at 15 meters 15 meters of depth and I put out a good amount of chain and then the wind pushed us back into deep water so we were actually sitting over about 50 meters, but the anchor was dropped in um, 15 meters. And it's always challenging when you anchor on a down slope because the, the anchor kind of naturally wants to drag itself away. Uh, it's much better to anchor on an upslope if you can, but you can't always do that, especially in the, the South Pacific. The other thing I did, which was helpful, was uh, I took the visible image from Google Earth or from NASA, and then I got precise GPS coordinates from NASA on two points on the old islands and so I knew that that was just a little under one nautical mile and so I was able to create a little bit of a scale that I could help understand about how far off I would be from the, uh, the different landmarks. So going in we used the radar, the depth sounder, we proceeded very slowly, we used our small boat um, as a helper and then when we got to a, a depth that was appropriate we dropped the anchor and then headed in to explore the island from there. The other maritime related challenge we have is behind me on this island, there's no docks or wharves or infrastructure for us to get ashore. So we have to take our inflatable boats to the beach through the waves and make sure that we get everybody aboard safely. And so we were also able to contribute to the oceanographic sampling in this vicinity, particularly by taking our um, inflatable boat around the island using some sonar equipment to map the nearshore waters. So we did transects back and forth the near coastal waters all around the island with the sonar to determine the bathymetry. So it's definitely a unique privilege to be able to go to this place. You, you need permits in order to get here from the government of Tonga. And so this partnership was with Sea Education Association, uh, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration in the US, and then the Kingdom of Tonga uh, to explore this new landmass. If you wanna learn more about this whole area, especially NASA's mission here, I've linked a couple of videos below that give you an overview of this area.